Hello everybody, Mike here and welcome to the channel. Well, we're in Amaya 2023 and we're going to be talking about a, a new feature in Amaya 2023, which is called Live Boolean. Now, if you're familiar with the concept of Booleans, uh, they've been available in Maya forever. It's always been a thing that you wanted to kind of stay away from because it creates a nasty geometry and it's really not that useful, at least in my experience, right? However, uh, Maya 2023 Live Boolean is a whole different ballgame and I am going to show it to you and you make up your own mind, right? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a simple object. We're going to take a polygon cube, hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's get in here and let's give it some subdivision. Let's say 10 by 10 by 10. Alrighty, let's do that. We're going to close that out. So this is the guy we want. And what we're going to do next is we're going to take an object to Boolean with the sphere. So let's do, um, I don't know, let's do another cube. Why not? Alrighty, so we're going to hit W. We're going to move that out. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it down. We're going to hit W. We're going to move it in here. Something like this and something like this. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the modeling toolkit. Now, if you open up the modeling toolkit, you have Boolean right here with the green brackets indicating that it's new, or you can go up to, uh, where is it again? It's up under mesh, yeah, and Boolean right there. I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna select this guy, shift select my second cube, and I'm gonna click on Boolean. Now, what is really, really cool is that it's live, as I mentioned. Now, how does that work? Let me move this over here, and let me move this over here, and then we're gonna open up our outliner, right? So right now in our outliner, we have cube number one, which is our base cube. We'll just call it uh, cube base, why not? Really original. And then we have uh, cube number two, which you can see is, um, it's empty and it's kind of a Boolean object, if you will. Well, it's an object that creates a Boolean. Let me put it that way, right? So we'll call that um, cube one. And then the polysurface, that is our Boolean object. So we'll call that Boolean. Now, what is live about this? Well, if we take that cube number one and we move it up and down, you'll see that our uh, Boolean object changes live, right? So that is really cool. We can rotate this guy like so, any way we want. We can rotate it this way if you like. We can scale it, we can do all those things. Okay, and then if you go over here to the right, you see that we have the cube base, as I call it right here on top, and we have the cube one. Here you have a couple of options, right? You can uh, turn the visibility on or off. So I can put it to wireframe, I can put it to shaded if I want. I can go into x-ray or I can even go in here and hide it. And the funny thing is, even though it's hidden, it still works perfectly, right? Let's turn that back on. We'll do a wireframe, why not? Right here on this one, we have the option to change the Boolean operation. So you can have the union, the difference, the slice, the uh, hole punch, and so forth and so on, right? So let's try union, for example. And as you can see, we got a whole different thing. Now, we'll go back, we're gonna go to difference again, we're gonna leave it at that. And then you have the same options up here. Now let's take another object. Let's take a, um, I don't know, we'll take a sphere. We'll uh, hit R, we're gonna scale that down and we're gonna move it over to, let's say somewhere around there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our uh, Boolean object. We're gonna shift select the sphere and we're gonna go and click on Boolean again. And as we do that, we now have another uh, another object here called sphere one. It's here as well. We'll call that sphere one. And we have the same concept. So again, we can change the operation. We can move it around. We can do all those things. Now, if we say, okay, this is good. I'm happy with this. We're going to take our uh, Boolean object and we're going to copy it. Control D to duplicate. 
hit W and move it over. Now, after frame on it, you could argue, well, this is not a clean mesh because we have n gons everywhere and it's not really an improvement over what it was before. Well, to an extent, um, the live boolean gives you a lot of options, but because my 2023 has the retopo option, it's definitely an improvement over what it was before, right? So with this guy selected, we're gonna go and freeze transformations. We're gonna delete the history. And then we're gonna go up to mesh, retopo, option box, edit and reset. And let's put our target face count at, let's see, right now it's about 3,000. Let's have Maya do some retopo, uh, but again with approximately 3,000 face count, right? Let's hit retopo, give it a second. And there you go. Now, it's green because it lost its connection to the material that was on it, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to this guy, assign uh, existing material, Lambert one. It's gonna have to do a little calculation again. We'll give that a second and there you have it. Now, again, this is not perfectly clean, but it's much better than what it was, right? You can see there are probably still a few N-Gons going on, not that many. It's not a totally messed up uh, mesh as you saw before. So I definitely think there are uses for this, right? Now, again, this is up to you to decide whether you uh, think that's feasible or not, but uh, yeah, try it. Let me know in the comments, right? That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.